We saw this coming. It was just a matter of time. So guys, as you all know, Sunday, yesterday, Biden announced that he was dropping out of the 2024 elections. And again, that's not a super surprise. We saw it coming, especially when they started giving him COVID all of a sudden, and he just started missing out on certain interviews. And that being said, he also did an interview where he talked about if doctors asked him to leave or drop out of the race that he would under their advisement. So with that, guys, he announces today that he's dropping out of the race. But what I find super weird is that later in the week, he's going to address the nation. Now, normally, guys, when you make a big move like this, and I don't know when in American history, when anybody's ever dropped out of a race, especially this close to the election. You have candidates who realize that they're not going to make it drop out, but he was the contender for the Democratic Party, and he dropped out of a race with, what, two months ago, three months ago? So this, guys, right now is the worst election in American history. The turmoil, the craziness, the attempted assassination, the dragging through the mud, the entire nonsense that we are experiencing in 2024 for this election is out of control. Still, it is not changing the fact that I'm starting to see people become nervous or at the very least email me or text me that things can go bad or get worse. Now, they absolutely can't. Uh, we definitely can see something desperate coming out of all of this. Like I said before in one of my videos a couple days ago, where I think there might be a grand scale attack on Trump. But it's nothing to get scared about. We shouldn't get nervous. We shouldn't waver in the bullshit. What we do, guys, is we stay focused, pay attention really closely to what's going on and who the players are, because Kamala Harris is supposedly going to enter the race now as the lead for the Democratic Party. Though there are people who are against this in on the Democratic Party, like Obama states that he's not endorsing Kamala Harris, but Biden is. And I think Pelosi or somebody else said that they were backing her up. I forgot what other, what other Democrats said they were backing her. Still, this emotional roller coaster, if you will, this roller coaster of an election is scary to a lot of people. And I say, don't be scared. Let's pay attention to what's going on. Let's pay attention to what's coming down the pike. And then if it gets scary, then you flip out. But right now, don't flip out. That comes later. And for those of us that are already paying attention, paying close attention, none of this is going to scare us and or waver us. We're going to do all right. Everybody in the prepper community and even the conservatives and Republican community will be okay because if you pay close attention, nothing should scare you, nothing should surprise you. This, guys, is what was going to happen. This is something that a lot of people called out. I mean, I mentioned it a few days ago that he was done, that he was undoubtedly going to drop out because it makes sense now. Don't get scared. That's the bottom line. We prepare, guys, for a lot of shit, but I tell people all the time, mental preparedness is by far the first preparedness you should meet because if you, you can get squared away on everything. You can have all the ammo you want, all the guns, all the food, the, all the water in the world. You can have everything, the best shelter, bed system, you name it, medical treatment system. It doesn't mean anything, guys, if you are not mentally squared away and mentally prepared what is coming next. And a lot of us seem to think something bad is coming, and I think so too. You have to be prepared for it. Because when it happens, guys, or if it happens, sorry, if it happens, you need to be able to focus on what you need to do, what you need to do next personally. Because what I think, guys, is going to happen is going to rattle the world so badly, it's going to be, it's going to affect us all individually, and we're going to have to square ourselves away for what happens next. I have people now telling me that they are getting their firearms ready, and they're talking about food, water, and prepping advice from me. Guys I know personally now, because they see where this is going, or rather, they don't like where this is going, and they want to be prepared, and they want to have their families prepared. That's all we can do right now, guys, is get squared away and get mentally ready for what happens next. Biden leaving a race, to me, wasn't a happy moment. I wasn't like, yes. I was just like, okay, this can, get, this can go sideways in a hurry. And being that Kamala Harris is running, listen, guys, Trump won the election. It's his. If any craziness happens between now and the election and he loses, 
all bets are off. I don't, I mean, all bets are off in the fact that I hope we do what needs to be done next to make sure this election is secured for Trump or whoever is in Trump's place or Trump himself, whoever it is. But they cannot win right now. It's impossible. It, listen, if they do anything other than give Trump this election, they do anything other than that, it's going to be blatant, flagrant nonsense. Now, there is talk of something big happening. And, and again, I'm, I'm telling you, or I'm thinking what that big thing is. If that happens before the inauguration, if Biden steps down and Kamala Harris is in play, she can martial law the entire country with that emergency presidential power thing that they can do, override everything, Congress, Senate, the whole nine yards, and then take over. That can happen. That is a real possibility, but that's a very desperate move. They are getting desperate, and that's why people are getting scared. But again, don't get scared. Whatever happens next, we will tackle, we will tackle it. We will take it head on. We're not going to sit there and get scared. We're not going to start crying, call your mother. Don't handle what happens next. Pay attention to what's going on. They had one failure last Saturday. They might do it again. And if they do it again, guys, on that grand scale, that's where the martial law comes into play. That's where the United States is locked down. That's where they start instituting going after more YouTubers for speech they don't like. Turning out free speech in the jail sentence. They already hit me up. They hit up a couple of other YouTubers. We're definitely going to be those guys headed into some kind. And listen, I'm not going down without a fight if it goes in that direction. That's case. That's that's where it has to be because if I if I think this is going in a direction I think is going in for us as well as the country, they're going to be trying to put a lot of us away. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, guys, this is the Angry Prepper. Don't be a bitch. Take whatever happens head on. And we'll move past this nonsense eventually.